Hi, I'm Jason, and this is the Pattern to Print channel. And today is the second episode in a series of four that I'm doing that sort of explains the workflow and how I do a lot of my uh, designing to get my uh, models for 3D printing. Now, if you haven't watched the first episode on scanning, I would suggest you start there so you know you, you don't get kind of confused on where we're at. Um, the link to that will be below in the description. So t uh, today, with uh, step two, we're going to be using the open source software program called GIMP. Now, GIMP is uh, similar to Photoshop, and it's a um, raster-based software, so it's, it's, uh, it's pixels. So like any time you take a photograph, it's in pixels. And sort of the, the defining thing about uh, raster uh, images is that if you zoom in real far, it, it uh, gets pixelated. It uh, has a definite resolution to it. So the main reason, uh, purpose for using GIMP in my process is to clean up the scan. So oftentimes when you scan uh, something, oftentimes there might be stray dots or uh, gaps or things like that. So that's what we're going to do today is we're going to clean up the image that we uh, scanned in the first episode. So why don't we um, go to the computer and get going on with that. Okay, now we've, uh, we're have we in GIMP and we've opened up the uh, file that we did the scanning before. And uh, first you can see the, the image is uh, kind of rotated, so that's really easy to um, to deal with, you just go to image transform and uh, rotate 90 degrees clockwise. So now that we've got it in the right perspective, um, the, what, uh, so I'm going to zoom in a little bit, and that's also easy to do. Okay. And uh, so the main things we're going to be using for the two tools we're going to be using is is the uh, the pencil and the eraser. So I'm going to select the pencil, and the first thing that's uh, important when we're doing kind of filling in the missing areas here is that we want to set the hardness to 100%. We want it. We don't want any kind of fuzziness on the edges. We just want it to be solid wherever we're using it. And uh, and we're also going to increase the size here a bit so that it um, so it isn't quite so narrow. So we'll go down to 60. Okay. So we want to close the gap here. And the reason why we want to close the gap is eventually we're going to fill the area that we want to 3D print. And if there's a gap, what's going to happen is that fill is going to go, oh, the, the uh, fill in the whole entire thing instead of just the area we want. Um, so to use the pencil, you hold down the... Uh, left button and you move it and then you can see we filled in filled in that gap and that's the only one that we've um, we've got now since this one's kind of a bit messy I can kind of fill in maybe looking up at this T see how it's kind of uh, narrow here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill in a bit more pencil and then use the eraser to make it a little bit more even later okay so I've got that filled in and I think I'm going to do the same thing down here where the, the P is and kind of make that so it's going to be a smoother edge down, further down. All right, so now that I've filled in, now I'm going to switch over to the eraser tool to erase the stuff that I don't want. So when we click on the eraser tool, it remembered the hardness from before, but it's the same thing. You want the hardness to be 100%. You don't want any... Uh, kind of fuzziness when we're when we're doing the erasing. So for the most part, what I want to erase the big thing is is this uh, this is sticking out pretty far. So I'm going to erase that. And something with the undo, the undo. Um, if I undo it, then it then it comes back. Now as long as you hold down the uh, the mouse button. It's the same undo. So let's say if I, I erase this and I don't lift up the mouse button and continue to uh, erase down here, what then happens is when I do the undo, it's going to undo the whole thing. So each time you release the button, uh, it's going to be sort of another thing in its history. And that's sort of important. Like sometimes when I'm erasing things, I kind of, you know, keep going and going and don't lift up my finger and all of a sudden I make a mistake and then I have to 
the undo does you know a whole bunch of work so remember when you're doing the eraser to eventually every once in a while to um, lift your finger off the button so you have another undo point um, so let's go back and, and redo this erase here even it up and then I was going to do the erasing up here now if I was doing this for something a little bit more exact I'd probably zoom in a little bit more and and get it a little bit more um, exact but I'm just sort of showing the general the general idea here so I've got a little bit a couple little bit knobbies over here that uh, from when when I did the pen and it kind of bled out a little bit and smooth this a little bit and then I'm going to come back here and even this out a little bit and this is a little knobby so basically once uh, you're satisfied with this um, then you're kind of done with this stage and when you export it again it's important that you export it again as a as a lossless tiff that way um, again if you do a jpeg it's going to start introducing artifacts and you don't want to do that so it's pretty simple you just uh, do export as and i don't want to overwrite um, the uh, previous uh, version of it so i'm just going to put this on my desktop and save it there i'll move it later um, and then hit export and I, I tested that earlier, so I'm going to overwrite the one I did on the desktop earlier and hit replace. And again, um, you can compress a TIFF, but you don't you don't want to do that in this case. So keep the compression to none. Hit export, and then that's it. Now that we finished cleaning up our scan in GIMP, we're ready to for the next step, which is Inkscape. So that'll be the the next episode. So if you uh, like this episode or want to make sure that you don't miss the next episode, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions at all about any of the steps that we covered today, please be sure to add them in the comments below. And as always, thanks for stopping by and have fun printing.